how to YouTube and especially small creators. A month ago, I uploaded a video called Ludwig taught me how to make it big. And I've decided to check up on my progress every month. So I would have a bigger picture and more information about the growth of my channel. The only reason I make this video is to help those small creators like me on what to improve on their own channel by analyzing my mistakes and correct decisions of mine. Today, we will be talking about what happened since that video and what are my next steps for the future of this goddamn dog shit channel. All right, let's start. This is my channel just before the last week video. What changed, you may ask? I tried to improve the quality of my thumbnails, the titles, and editing. Also, I posted almost every day for a month. I'm experimenting. I'm trying to find what works for me. Now, from the views, we can see that my videos got more clicks. And the only reason I can think is that the thumbnails and titles caught the attention of more people. I can honestly say for myself that I would possibly click to one of those videos, but I wouldn't like ever two or three months ago. L just look at the freaking titles. Highlights, highlights, highlights. Highlights of what, buddy? Highlights of whom? You need to be an established creator for the highlight part to, to work. Otherwise, no one cares. Yeah, it was pretty bad. But at least I'm happy that I improved on this aspect. Now, looking at the viewer retention of those recent videos, eh, eh, yeah, it's pretty bad. The possible problems could be how the videos are structured or the editing is not on point. Probably both, actually. Let's write that down. Important. What about my shorts, though? Yep, we improved on that as well. As we can see, we went from, from six to 700 average viewers to 1.5k average. Why? Because the content is more interesting, the editing is better, and I know for a fact that I can do better on those. I can add captions, I can improve the edit part. I will be using an AI in the future called Opus Clip to help me with that. The AI takes a video that you upload to it and it cuts it into pieces and make clips out of the video with captions. That's about it. Because I need to find a way for time save. It's kind of hard going to work, going to the gym, record videos, record shorts, edit both, create thumbnails, create titles, post all of that, and stream in a single day. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy it so much, but I don't have money to pay for an editor. So I need to find modern ways to help me with that. So props to Opus Clip. Now on the daily upload, <laughs> We need to understand what's important. Good watchable videos are important. And it's not really possible to record, edit, create thumbnails, create titles at the same day and do everything. Uh, sorry, good. I've noticed that some of the videos that I made in the past, if I gave to them like one or two more days re-editing it, adding and fixing things, make, making it more watchable, those videos would be like 10 times better. But the stupid idea that I had in mind is that I have to upload every single day. And that was stressing me out because I was thinking it's late at night, I need to post and go to sleep. It doesn't work like that. And content creators that made it say so. Number one on this list, uh, posting consistently on YouTube. Are you seeing what I mean by that? Like everybody says to post consistent. It's like a, it's like a known good idea. Guys, I have news for you. The algorithm will not like you when you have 20 subscribers, you will rarely, if ever get recommended to people to watch. I ended up uploading a video that was five out of 10 when I could make it like seven out of 10. On this note, I want to add that I really enjoy reacting to videos and expressing my opinions and i can do that in a day and i don't mind the video being mediocre because it's just the react video at the end of the day but when a video needs research and generally more work to it i will take my sweet time uploading it even if it's two or two or three more days look at mr beast a video could take like one or two months to complete and I'm not even exaggerating. His editor say that. And this took over like two months to edit. And most talked about videos that has been on Jimmy's channel this year so far. So 
To sum it up, what are my next steps for the channel? Improve even more on the thumbnails and titles, improve my edit techniques, post more and better shorts, and lastly, taking my sweet time when I want to make a better, more meaningful video. Tell me in the comments, what are your next steps for your channel? Because you might help me and I need help, literally. If you want to know my opinion about the, about the One Piece Netflix series, click right here. Anyways, see you in the next one. Peace.